Uh, welcome everyone to yet another live session. I am Simran Shivalkar, a journalist at CIO News and your host for today's live. Today we have with us Mr. Vishal Bhatt. He's a seasoned IT professional and with exceptional leadership and with over a decade of experience, 24 years of program experience in developing and leading cross-functional technical teams to execute and deliver major technology initiatives. Mr. Bhatt, thank you once again for agreeing to do this with us and being a part of today's live. Thank you, CIO News, for giving me this opportunity. And once again, uh, thanks to CIO News. Great. And uh, with that, I would love to ask you about your journey. More than two decades of experience, almost 24 years, uh, more than 24 years now. Uh, can you share a bit right. about your journey and you know, how your current role? In the IT space. Uh, so I had started as a system estimator, administrator, and where I have learned the importance of uh, reliable IT systems with my passion, and I grew as I moved into cloud and cloud technologies with cyber security. Releasing that infrastructure and security must go hand in hand. And as I had learned uh, so many good new things uh, since last of decades, and I had connected with uh, my journey to infrastructure and cyber security as my current scenario as per the requirement of uh, standard. Great. And uh, because you have been in this space for so long, uh, what are uh, some of the key leadership lessons that you've learned while you know managing so much of so many teams and especially cross function teams? Uh, in that, I would say that communication, trust, and collaborations are the key aspects uh, with my experience as a leadership, and I can also focus on balancing strategy with the execution and empowering my teams with uh, autonomy. Fantastic. Uh, any major challenges or any common challenges that you have you know, come across in your years of experience and how did you navigate them? Uh, scaling for growth and balancing security was accessibility have been my major challenges and uh, moving to scale with cloud solution and implementing Zero trust security helped me to overcome with this I, uh, for IT infrastructure planning. Thank you so much for answering that. And uh, next, I would like to ask you, how do you see trends like remote access and VDI evolving in the coming years? According to you, what should organizations do to adapt these new technologies? To adapt of this new technologies in coming up, upcoming years, every uh, uh, organization has to use a hybrid work which stays into the consolidity and steadity of their network. Organizations should invest in secure remote access, optimizing network performance, and transitions to cloud based VDI solutions. Awesome. And lastly, any final words or advice that you would like to give out to young professionals who are in media and marketing in this space? Definitely. Uh, every young professional have their masters and basic while keeping and learning into their current uh, scenario. Even keep learning, stay versatile, versatile and have their master's basics clear with clear funda and building a strong foundation in security, which is most crucial for nowadays. Thank you once again, Mr. Bhatt, for uh, being so comprehensive throughout the uh, file answering. And lastly, I have a small rapid fire plan for you, just a couple of questions. Sure. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, sure. OK. Uh, my first question to you would be, what's one tech gadget that you cannot live without? My smartphone. Your smartphone? <laughs> yeah, because it is a day to day life. Everything now comes under this smartphone. That's right. I think we cannot survive today. Nobody can survive without our smartphone. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Absolutely. And next, uh, any current favorite IT trend that you have, you know, that you think uh, positive about? 
uh, AI driven automation. Okay. And if you could have a dinner with any one tech leader, who would it be? Satya Nadel. Satya Nadel. Microsoft. Okay. And yes, Microsoft CIO Satya Nadel. If you weren't in IT, what would you be doing? Definitely, I would be teaching or mentoring to the younger generations. Lovely.